sinuses or something and have a little hoarseness from time to time, then it'll get a little better and clear up. But uh, y'all do pray for us. And uh, we want to say we love uh, Brother Chris and, of course, uh, Christy. And we do appreciate the work that they're doing and appreciate you as a church trying to care for the things that are pleasing unto the Lord. The 17th verse of the 5th chapter of 2 Corinthians. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, therefore, if any man, if any man, there's no exemptions, if any man Amen. be in Christ, he is a new creature Amen. or creation. Yes. Old things are passed away. We use that term passed away when somebody dies. Yeah. <clears throat> we say they passed away. So and so passed away. So when we get born again, born of God, saved by the grace of God, yes. ever how you want to term it or put it, uh, regenerated by the power of God, we become new creatures or a new creation in the Lord Jesus Christ and all things die. Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 Behold, all things are become new. I want to try to preach on the thought, are you under new management? Amen. Are you under new management? Have you become a new creation? I'm hearing so much junk today uh, that's called salvation that does not deliver an individual from a path of sin and put them on a path of Bible holiness. Right. Amen. I want to tell you, when you get bored of God, God is in you, and God is a holy God. Amen. And without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Right. And it's not a denomination either. Right. Amen. Amen. It ain't speaking in an unknown tongue. Amen. Right. Amen. It's getting more of God, more of the Spirit, the God moving in you, and God and you could not make out of yourself by your own merits. Amen. 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 And so uh, we need to realize we're going to have revival. You can't have revival with lost folks. Right. Amen. 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 Lost folks are dead in trespasses and sin. You can't revive them. They need a resurrection right. from death unto life. Amen. Amen. And then when you get saved by the grace of God, and then, then you can get revived if you sort of faint in the way. And so I don't know what you need today, uh, either resurrected from death unto life, amen, or revived, but I hope whatever it is that you'll get it. Amen. amen. And so uh, I'm not the determining factor on that. God is, and you know where you're at. That's right. Amen. Paul said, I know in whom I have believed. Amen. 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 I hope you do this morning. Uh, but we need to understand that there's a lot of stuff going around in religious circles that's passed off as salvation and is not Bible salvation. Amen. 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 And so when you get uh, in Christ, You'll get under due management. I read this illustration. I thought it was good. It was about a man who went into a restaurant. And he sat down at a dirty table. And the waitress that waited on him wore a dirty uniform. And was not courteous. Had no, uh, she was not courteous at all. The food was of poor quality. So the man resolved or said in his heart, I'll never go back to that restaurant again. I don't blame him. But some months later, he was driving by the same restaurant and he saw a sign hanging out in the window and it said, under new management. 
So the man decided to try it one more time. And he went in and he entered. A very neatly dressed gentleman greeted him. And so uh, when he entered in, showed him to his seat. The tablecloth was bleached white clean. The waitress was neatly dressed, extremely courteous. The silverware was spotless and shining. And the food was of excellent quality. The man was greatly pleased about everything. And then we asked the question, what happened? What was the difference? The restaurant was under new management. And the new manager had everything set in order. And I want to say this morning, when you get saved by the grace of God, you'll be under new management. And the manager will set your life in order. Amen. 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 God is not the author of confusion, Amen. but of peace in all churches yes. of the saints. Amen. Amen. Now, if you've got confusion going on, you have not got God going on. Amen. 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 You let the God of glory move inside you. Amen. Well, the, one of the brothers was talking about peace. He is the God of peace. Yes. Amen. 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 And when God saves you, He'll make you a peacemaker, not a troublemaker. Amen. Right. Amen. He'll get you off the telephone. Yes. And on Amen. your knees. Amen. 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 And so you'll get out of you, man. Well, I want to talk about some of those things. When a man gets saved, born again, woman, boy, girl, gets right with God, uh, gets under new management, and the, uh, the new manager, the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, takes control of our lives and uh, begins to lead us down a path of holiness, uh, down a path of righteousness, down a, a, a path of purity. we got so much stuff going on now. Folks can be on drugs, drinking liquor, shacked up down the road, still come sing in the choir, and we scratch our head and want wonder if they're saved or not. I don't scratch my head and wonder a bit. Amen? If a man is still living a life, amen, out there uh, in the liquor crowd and, and they're still shooting drugs up their arm and, and they're telling lies, uh, are you listening to me and shacked up with somebody down the road? They need to get right with God. Amen. 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 Yeah, we talk, we want to go back talk about as mentioned this morning about the woman. Amen. I, I, I'll go to another woman. There was a woman. Uh, Jesus had come to town, and uh, uh, she met the Lord Jesus, uh, and Jesus said, "Go get your husband." She said, "I ain't got one, Lord." Amen. He said, "I know you had five of them." <laughs> amen. Amen. And the, those bones she shacked up man, the hell now. Uh, she wasn't even married to. Amen. But Jesus saved her and said, "Go and sin." In other words, don't get the, go back to the house and put your foot in him and kick him out the door and quit living like that. Right. Right. Amen. 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 When God saves you, now listen, God's the only one that can save. Right. Right. And when he saves, he does it right. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Yes. He does it right. He'll take you, he'll take you off the dance floors of the world. He'll get you off the liquor ball. He'll get you off the drugs. Amen. He'll get, hey, hey, hey. He'll put truth in you. You'll quit lying, intentionally lying. I will tell you something. God, well, God does a, a, a holy work. God does a righteous work. God does a work inside a man that only God can do. Amen. 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 That's right. Man gets saved. He doesn't enjoy sin anymore. I'll tell you something the difference in a lost, unconverted sinner and a saved, converted sinner who is now saying to God is that the lost sinner sins and continues in it and enjoys it. Right. I'll tell you something. If you know somebody's living in sin, they just continue living in sin. They just continue living. Their life is a life of sin. Amen. If they enjoy that sin, they're not born again. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. They're not saved by the grace of God. You need to understand that. You need to get your theology right. Amen. And start praying that God, the Holy Ghost, would deal with our heart and bring them under conviction and bring them to the Savior. Amen. I'm glad God, well, hallelujah, Amen. loves old sinners. I was a sinner lost without God, but I'm glad the same God that loves old Sinners will save old sinners by the grace of God and make them a whole brand new, a new creature.
truly been born again? I'm talking about born to God. Right. Born to the Spirit. Does the God of heaven live inside you? Does He rule and reign on the throne of your heart? Amen. Is He, is he your manager? Amen. Amen. Are you under new management? Amen. Is He calling the shot? We live in such a world, in the, in the, even in the what we call the church world, where everybody wants to do everything their way. Hmm? Right. Amen. Bless the Lord. Fulfills that scripture where every man uh, wants to do that right, which is in his own eyes. Amen. We don't want to do it God's way. We want to do it our way. Right. They say that old secular song, I did it my way. A lot of folk did it their way and they're in hell right now. Right. Right. Amen. Right. You, hey, you got the right to do it your way. Amen. God probably won't stop you from doing it your way. But I want to tell you something. You won't stop God on the day of judgment from pronouncing unto you the part from me. You cursed in the outer darkness. I never knew you. Now he didn't say I know you, amen, one time and forgot about you or throw you away. Amen. He said I never knew you. That's right. I want to go ahead and clear this up. You ever get born to God, you're born to God for all eternity. Amen. Right. Amen. Yes. amen. You become a child of God. You're a child. Now listen to me. When I got born of fleshly into this world and, and they slapped me or whatever they did and I uh, draw that breath and cried, amen, uh, into this world, I, I, was, I, I had a, a, a biological father and a biological mother and they could have thrown me in the garbage can but it wouldn't have made a bit of difference. I'd still been their child. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And it wouldn't no matter what I'd done, I'd still be their child. Now you listen to me. <laughs> when you get saved by the grace of God, you become one of His young ones. Amen. And you are His forever. Amen. And now here's the thing. When you get born of God and become His, and now He's your manager, and you don't march by His orders, he will deal with you because he chased enough or he corrects every son. Amen. Amen. And if you're without chastisement or correction, he said you're not a son but a master. That's right. Amen. You're illegitimate. You don't really belong to God. You just think you do. That's right. As a lot of folks think they're something they're not. Amen. Amen. They think they're this. They think they're this. They think they're this. To quit thinking well, it, how you believe it or feel about it and go to God's Word and see what God says about it. Amen. 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 That's right. Bless God. Amen. Amen. Woo! Amen. If you're a child of God, you sin against God right. and you will, but He don't want you to. He said, I would that you sin not. I don't want you to sin. But if you do, thank God I'm glad, I'm glad to put that in there. If you do, hey amen. We have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Yeah, yeah, Ain't you boy. glad for that? Yes, yeah, sir. Hey amen. And he said, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. For he's a propitiation for our sins and not for our sins only. In other words, the term, uh, but for the sins of the whole world. If you're here lost, he will propitiate for your sin. If you're here saved, he'll do the same. Amen. Amen. Whatever's Amen. needed in your life, I'm glad we got a God who's big enough to do it. Amen. 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 So the lost sinner sins, continues to sin, and enjoys sin. A saved saint of God, amen, amen, he'll sin sometime. He better if he don't, but if you do, amen, you won't enjoy it. Right, man. You right. cannot enjoy it. Amen. Because you're born to God, That's and right. his seed remaineth in you. Yeah. Amen. And you cannot enjoy sin. Now, let me clarify something right there. God saves the soul, not the flesh. That's right. That's right. God saves the soul, not the flesh. When God created a man in his own image, his own likeness, he created from the dust of the earth. God breathed into his nostrils a breath of life, and he became a living soul. Amen. And the soul that sinneth shall surely die. Yes. Right. 
Amen. And so God's dealing with the soul. And God says the soul. Yes. And the soul is washed. The soul is cleansed. The soul is made perfect. By the way, let me hit that right there. Amen. Uh, we are made the righteousness of God in Christ. If you've been born again, nothing short of complete godly perfection can enter into God's perfect heaven. Amen. Amen. Nothing Amen. short of Amen. it. Amen. And so if you're going to get into God's heaven, you've got to get perfect. Now, we got a problem right there, don't we? And we all got a problem right there. Because every one of us have sinned as it's been mentioned. Amen. And all of us are imperfect in ourselves. So what we're going to do about the problem, we can't do nothing. But God did something. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. I couldn't do nothing, but God did something. Amen. Amen. When we were hopeless and helpless on our way down, God came to where we were. Amen. So God made us righteous in Christ. When God the Father looks at us, He sees us in God the Son. Amen. Yes. Amen. And we're as righteous and holy and pure our soul is as God is. And that's why our souls don't enter in. God ain't going to let this flesh enter heaven. That's right. Flesh and blood can't enter in. He's going to give us new bodies, glorified bodies. This old, this old thing that you're looking at, I'm believing in, that old thing you look at in the mirror every day, hey amen, one day it's going to be a planted cemetery. It's going back to the dust from which it came. We ain't worth that much, not the flesh. But I'm glad the soul, amen. amen. God loves the soul. Amen. Yes. amen. He loves the soul. And He loves the soul of every sinner. I'm glad I got a gospel. Woo! Hallelujah! That I'll preach to the president. Yes, I'm yes. glad I got a, a gospel. That I'll preach to the pauper. Amen. Amen. I'm glad I got a gospel. That I'll save a rich man. Yes. Amen. A poor man. An educated man. An uneducated Amen. man. saves. Yes, Jesus saves. And when Jesus saves, He'll make you a new creation in Christ. Yes. And old things will die, pass away, and all things will become new. And all of a sudden, you'll love the things you hated, hate the things you love. Mm -hmm. I mean, before I got saved, I was 22 year old, and I got saved, didn't have nothing to do with church. Couldn't quote John 3.16. Hey man, couldn't say amazing grace. Hey man, I'm positive you better. I knew, knew nothing hard about church. I didn't know a bad from the church of God to a Methodist to a church of Christ. I didn't know, I didn't know nothing about any of that. Hey man, God turned me on that Saturday evening, put me under arrest. Hey man, Woo! hallelujah, hallelujah. on me. Yeah. And I've been growing in grace. Did you get that? Right, I'm going to ask you, you been, I know folks, uh, Brother Chris, they've been in church 50 years. And they're still a little baby. If they're a baby. Some of them, I wonder if they've ever been a baby. Right. Hey, man. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something. 
How, will you mind telling me how old you are? He's 60. 60. Can you imagine if he come in here with a diaper on? Oh, <laughs> 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 here. What we got this morning. Huh? <laughs> now I want to tell you something. When folks have been in a church for 50 years, they ought to be over having to be burped. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 They ought to be over having to have our diaper changed. Right. Amen. You've been in this way 50 years and you're telling me, heaven, you're still, heaven, you're still a babe in Christ and you're still a whining and a groaning and a growling and a griping about
God. Right. Amen. Well, I'm on, I don't know if I'll ever get off point one. <laughs> Hey, maybe we'll bring it Lord. back tonight. I don't know. Yes, Lord. And something else in my heart. God made you say, let me sit down right here. Amen. Amen. Yes, brother. Huh? I, I heard this stuff. Uh, to, I, I'm sick up to here, Brother Chris. Right. Of this God knows my heart. God knows my heart. <laughs> Woo, well, hallelujah for that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I had a, I had a, a young preacher, and uh, I might know, is this thing going out? I ain't going to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you, Lord. Uh, and for reasons, good reasons. I'm going to say this. I've dealt with an issue and, uh, back, and, and uh, this uh, individual Bless and her son, and uh, good people. Good people. And their son visited or the whole family did. He was just a little boy. And he had his hair dyed pink. Oh. Yeah. I saw that and I was like, whoa. And I, I told my wife, I saw him on Saturday night. I said, there ain't, there ain't no way. There ain't no way. I can let them get up and sing and him get up and preach. And that boy with that pink hair. I preached for over 11 years against these pink haired, purple haired, green haired people singing in the choir. Son, I'm, it's, it's getting real quiet. Huh? Amen. Bless you, man. Come on. Hair spot like a punk rocker. You're a, you said you're the child of God. You said you just born again. You said you did. But they made a new creature in Christ Jesus and the Holy God of Heaven working out holiness in you. And you got your hair spiked up. Amen. Your pink, pink hair, blue hair, purple hair, green hair. Amen. Tattoos for sleeves. So well, I had them when I was lost. I understand that. Cover them up. Amen. That it's too hot. No, I ain't gonna wear long sleeves all year long. I don't even own a short sleeve shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. I ain't got tattoos. Bless the Lord. Their ears are pierced. They go to the choir and their ears are pierced from here to here. That ain't called moderation, by the way. That ain't moderation. I ain't got to follow the ear ring, but let all things be done in moderation. Uh, bro, th this ain't in the notes. I mean, I don't know what God's to do with it, but Bless He's trying to do Lord. something here. Lord. Are you listening Bless to me? Bless Bless Amen. 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 Ah! So you're talking about. I'm, I'm going to get back on it. I'm going back to where I was at. He said, well, he done this because of cancer awareness. He died in pain for cancer awareness. And he said, and his motives were good. And with all the grace I had, all the love that God could show around in my heart, I was not ugly. I was not mean. I, was, I had no ill spirit. I told him I loved him. I loved his family. I was not going to throw them under the bus. They was going to well, stay right there. We were going to still give them the offering we was going to give them. We had a meal out in the fellowship hall. We was going to feed them. We was going to put our arms around them and love them. Amen. But I could not tolerate that. When I preached again it for 11 years, I'd be the biggest hypocrite in the county. Amen. 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 We talked, and he said, well, God knows his heart and his motives. I said, brother, I know this one. I said, I'm sick up to hear of it. I said, God does know your heart. God knows his heart. God knows my heart. Right. He knows every one of us his heart. Yes, sir. There ain't an argument with me on any of that. But I said, you look at me, I don't know your heart. And I don't know his heart. And I don't know his motives. And you don't know my heart nor my motives. Right. Amen. Amen. And by the way, we're not trying to be a light to God. He is the light. Yes. Right. yes. Amen. And God didn't call us to be a witness and a testimony to the Lord. He don't need a witness. Uh -huh. Amen. He don't need a testimony. Amen. 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 We are the salt of the earth. Amen. Yes. Amen. And when we lose our saltness, I've I, I preached a whole message on this. 
until preaching it here. But you can put salt, I'm going to brief it down. You can put salt in water and it'll become salty water. You can heat it up, I think it's like 15 or 1900 something degrees Fahrenheit and melt it and it'll still be salt. That's right. The only way you can do away with the saltness of salt is carry it to a laboratory and break it down with outside sources or other chemicals. Did you get that? Amen. The church has been broken down by outside sources called the world and we broke the world down in the house of God and we no longer have an influence for the Lord because they look like a bunch of punk rockers Amen. or street walkers Amen. 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 Our pimps. Amen. Amen. Right. Now, I mean, I'm going to tell you Amen. something right here. Amen. That God ain't concerned about the outward man. Oh, yes, he is. Amen. Yes, ma'am, he is. Yes, sir, he is. Yes. Amen. Amen. He yes. deals a lot with the outward man. I ain't got time to go there. God saves the soul, but he said, let us, the people of God, those he saved, the church of the living God, let us go home. Amen. scientists to wake up this morning and look at the way the world is and we'll find out how our homes are. Right. right. We've walked off from God and left God. While we yep. claim to be children of God, we claim to be saints of God, we claim, hey, you, you claim you think, I can claim I'm a dog. Yeah, amen. I can claim I'm a dog. I can run around and go, <laughs> Pour my milk out in the bowl and go. <laughs> I may be crazy, but I wouldn't be a dog. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make me a dog. People claiming everything now. Men claiming their women, women claiming their men. Amen. 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 What you claim? Amen. Right. God knows. Just because you put a bicycle in the garage don't make it a Rolls Royce. Amen. Right. So everybody now is anything everything want to be. Yes, that's right. Amen. Praise it. God made man yes. in his own image. And he took a rib out of that man and made him a help me call a woman. Right. Amen. We got some, some, I, read, I hope she's a woman. I don't know. Sometimes we don't know now. Anyway, Biden's trying to, to get political. I'm done there, so just let me go. <laughs> Biden's trying to put her in one of them high judges, you know. And she answered a question. And uh, basically, I'm going to paraphrase. She didn't know. Uh, difference between man and woman. I don't tell you something. She don't know the difference between man and woman. She don't need to be in the highest court because Amen. 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 Preach it. I'm going to preach it. And brother, I don't mean any offense to you. Amen. But Biden said, I'm going to put a black woman in there regardless. Now listen, that ain't the way you do things. No. Listen, if Trump has said, I'm going to put a white man regardless, that would have been burning the streets down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they can talk about racism. That's about as big as racism as you can get right there. When you just decide you're going to put them in because of their sex and their color, regardless of what they believe. Right. Amen. 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 Don't run off and leave me now, praise God. Amen. Hey, I preach to everybody. Amen. By the help of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I, hey, hey, I, hey, bro, brother, I'm not just picking up. I preach to the white folk and the black folk and the young folk and the green folk and the purple folk and every other folk. Amen. 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 Have no respect to persons, what God said. Amen. 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 I don't pick on folks, I just preach. Amen. Amen. Lord, I feel like you're picking on me, but I've got a conviction and come to the altar. Amen. 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 It won't stop me. Amen. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm that God puts us under new management. Amen. He'll clothe us 
in His righteousness. He'll clean up our conversation. He'll give us a sound mind. I'm glad you can get in Christ and Christ in you. And then we got a fault now. Uh, they so much stuff. They so many people on medication. And I know sometimes folks get in situations. But I'll tell you what a lot of folks need. They need to get in Christ and Christ in them. And God will give them a sound mind. Amen. Right? Yeah. Amen. 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 There's so many folks now uh, living under depression and on pills and, and all kinds. And we got so many kids, amen, now on drugs. We got little kids, so many of them's on drugs. It's ridiculous. Right. Really, and all this kind of carrying on, amen. Well, hey, I'm going to tell you what's wrong. When we kick God out of the schools, yes. amen. And amen. prayer and pledge allegiance, all these things out of the school, it was an open door for the devil, and Satan walked down the hall. Amen. 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 Now we got outlaws. Outlaws. Absolutely. Outlaws are roaming the halls of our schools. Yes. Yes. Right. Right. yes. They perverted their minds. They perverted their hearts. Their whole life is perverted. Some of them, my wife's a school teacher. There's kids up there. I'm part time custodian. We got kids up there, and some of them girls think they're trying to have sex changes and become a boy. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's right. I was in one place, and something was saying, one of the boys said, Well, just wait till the next group gets in here. And I said, What? And they began to tell me, and I said, I don't know what that means. They said, we all stay. I said, well, today, I want you to cuss and talk to the dirt. And they said, well, said, well, said, you would know it is two lesbians. said, wait till they get here. said, they're a couple. And said, you won't be able to keep your hands off one another. Well, they showed up, and I kept, on, I kept their hands off one another. <laughs> they tried it, but I kept their hands off one another. I want to tell you something, brother. They ain't going to follow one another while I'm standing there and sitting over them. Amen. 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 I had some boys, they, they was going to try to take over the class. I was just a sub. I stood up, took the pistol, and threw it across the, the window, and I told them to, to sit down and shut up. And I didn't want disrespected. I said, I'll treat you like you treat me. You're going to be disrespectful to me. I'm, I know how to disrespect you. We ain't having it in here. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you what. Hey, hey, listen to me. What we need, amen, we need some men, amen. Amen. To quit themselves like men, amen. Amen. And love people to stand and have it done all to stand. Right. Tell you why you're raising outlaws, amen. Amen. Because you're raising them like outlaws. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Right, good. Someone have to rewrite this sermon. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Lot lived in wicked surroundings. Lot chose to carry his family into a city that was filled with sin. While Lot lived in the sur surroundings of sin and wickedness, the Bible said his righteous soul, he vexed his righteous soul from day to day. His righteous soul was vexed, meaning that Lot was afflicted. He was oppressed with the evil that was around him. He was actually, if you look all that up, uh, he was actually tormented in his soul. He yes. wasn't happy. Right. Amen. He didn't enjoy the surroundings he lived in. If you enjoy sin, you're not under new management. You're not a new creature in Christ. You've not yeah. been regenerated by the power of God. Now listen, Brother Chris asked me to come preach, amen, by the help of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to preach to you, and I'm going to repeat that, amen. If you're living in sin and enjoying it, amen, you need to get born again. Right. Amen. 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 I'm talking about a continuation there. Uh, man gets a... Saved by the grace of God becomes a new creature in Christ Jesus. He loves the gospel. I want to tell you something. A saved, born again, new creature in Christ never tires of hearing about the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He'll never get bored when he hears amen. about the virgin birth, the, amen, the sinless life, and the sacrificial death, and the bodily resurrection, and the coming of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He said, I wish that preacher would get a little deeper in the Word and preach something a little deeper. One preacher said, if you get deeper in Jesus, you went below the foundation and you're in the mud. I want to tell you something, amen. Christ is the foundation, amen. Yes. Amen, you can't get no deeper than that. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you what folks really want. Amen. They want entertained. Yeah. 
Right. That's right. Yep. We've turned a lot of what's called church into religious entertainment centers. <clears throat> right. Hey, man. Yep. Huh? Yes. We want that happy clappy crowd to come in there with their so-called praise and worship, amen, and their rock music of blind that mentions Jesus every once in a while, amen, and they have about one verse and they sing it 50 times. Right. Amen. And sister so and so, if she is a sister, gets up in her tight blue jeans, amen, and <laughs> Amen. Come on, brother. Uh, Amen. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ain't I having the time? I hope you are. <laughs> what in the world will ever happen? To sing in the old hymns of the church. Amen. Amen. In the Holy Ghost. Yes. yes. What in the world ever happened, amen, to a choir that'll get up and run back, amen, and be led by man, amen, that's able to lead the choir, amen, and sing for the glory of God. Amen. They'll get praise teams. Amen. I don't want no praise team. Are you kidding me? A praise team, amen. They want an audition for the praise team. Audition for the praise team. Are you kidding me? Amen. I will tell you who the praise team is. It's the church of the living God. Amen. 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 And we're not, we don't need to be up a wiggling and a squiggling and a waving. And a, my, my mother and a, seven years ago, they, there was a group that come to our church and, a, and sang and they liked them and they going to go to this Assembly of God church. And I told them, I said, you, you better not go down there. You, you all ain't going to like it. But I knew some of the folks of what was going on down there. They got down there, some about blowed them out. They wanted me. I said, I ain't going down there this day. It ain't nothing but a religious circuit. And they got down there and they said these we was up in their blue jeans and there's a wiggling and a squirming and you know all that. And they just got all bent out of shape. I said, I told you I'm not to go. <laughs> some folks they just won't listen, they mean. Amen. <laughs> you can preach over them, pray over them, spit on them. Amen. I still won't listen. Amen. They gonna do it their way. That's right. Some folks gonna do it their way all the way to hell. That's right. Yes, Amen. Amen. That, but that, I guess when they're in hell, they can say I done it my way. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Woo! I love you, Amen. But more importantly, God loves you. Amen. Amen. He sent His Son to die for you. To pay the debt of your sin that you could not pay. Amen. Unless you gave your soul forever in the lake of fire. The second day. Some of these women, but now you're squirming around. You're looking down at the pew. You're looking at a book, cutting a book. It's getting too hot for you in the kitchen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Some folks stay with you as long as you know you can give them a good punch line. Uh, we you, did you, you realize that at the average church now, there's no conviction there? That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. No conviction there. It's all about the entertainment. All about the entertainment. Right. And we got we got to have to have this program for the young people. This program for the senior adults. So grandma can come up on her leotards and do exercises in the basement. Amen. Huh? <laughs> Picture that. Oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> no. So we won't have revival if you picture that. Amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Religious entertainment. Religious socialization. You know what some folks want in church? They just want a network of friends. Want a network of friends. Friends are good, but I'm going to tell you something, God's better. Amen. Amen. I like friends. Amen. I like friends. Thank God for friends, but I want to say, I've got a friend that will stick closer than a brother. And his name is the Lord Jesus. Amen. And he's with me when you cannot be. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 If you get saved, you'll love the gospel. There's something wrong with a person who professes to be a child of God, a Christian, and doesn't go to hear the gospel preach and refuses to support the preacher 
Amen. And, amen. 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 And preaches it. And fails to support him with their prayers, with their financial support. While I'm on that subject, I'll just tell you. Amen. How to know a real gospel preacher. He makes much of Christ. He exalts the divine Son of God. Amen. Amen. He doesn't pump the flesh. And I want to tell you something. Most of our church, I said we've turned into entertainment. We want to, we want to applaud people like they uh, like they put on a concert. Amen. 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 I don't want no applause. I, hey man, I don't want no applause. I don't deserve an applause. You deserve an applause. Hey man. Amen. We're all sinners saved by grace made into the saints of God. What we want to do is pump the flesh and build up pride and arrogance and so we can think we're something, amen, when we're a bunch of nothings. Yeah. Saved by the grace of God. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Real gospel preacher preaches on repentance toward God and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Preaches about the blood that will cleanse you and wash you. Tells you if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, I shall be saved. When a man develops attitude, now you listen to our woman, develops an attitude toward a gospel preacher over some verse he used, views different. Now you listen to this preacher this morning that has absolutely nothing to do with the salvation of the soul and stops supporting him prayerfully, stops supporting him spiritually, stops supporting him financially, he's revealing that he needs to be under new management. Same folks love the gospel and they realize the beauty of the feet. Amen of those who preach it. Just because, now you listen to me, there's not a single, I don't even know most of you, but there's not a single individual in here that me and you would line up with 100%, including my wife. Some people like blue pews, some like red. Some want green. Some want maple carpet. Some want just uh, one colored carpet. Some want white walls, some want blue walls. when poor little pitiful people don't get their way at the house of God. <laughs> I just wanted that color so bad. I think I'm just going to have to leave and go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you don't leave and go somewhere else because the pews ain't the color you want them. I want some ugly life, but this is serious. I know churches to split, absolutely yeah. split. I mean, and run the thing in the ground because somebody didn't get the cut That's they right. wanted. That's yes. right. Yeah. That's right. Come on, yep. brother. Yes. Amen. Yep. Uh, the majority of the church wants to build a fellowship hall and there's a little group in there that don't want it and, and so they'll turn on the preacher and everybody and fight that thing, stir up stuff, amen, do whatever they can to split and tear it apart. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you something. You're a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm -hmm. You're a whale without water. I told I was preaching a couple of sons so ago, whatever, and I said, you can go out there in the garden, dig you a hole, and you can build your little whale house over it real pretty, put lattice around it, paint it, put your witness on it in the bucket. Everything looks good, but there ain't no water there. And when you go to draw water, it's an empty hole. Right. Amen. Amen. It looks good. There's a lot of folk got a lot of stuff. It looks good in the religious world, but there ain't no water in the hole. Amen. 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 There are wells without water, amen. Twice dead, plucked up by the roots. They've been made a two-fold child of hell by the religious world. I'll tell you right now, it ain't about roaming up in religion. It's about getting in Christ and Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen. Amen. Woo! Yes, 
Something wrong with them. <clears throat> Always called in trouble out the house of God over everything. This preacher right here, he ain't going to preach everything that always you may line up with in life, amen. But you ought to grin and bear it. You ought to pray for it. You ought to support it. You ought to put your arms around it. You ought to stand at the door, shake his hand when he goes out, look at him in the eye, say, we love you, preacher, we're praying for you. Amen. 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 If you can't do that, get right with God. Amen. 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 Last church I passed, hey, <laughs> help of the Holy Ghost, I pressed through it, Brother Fred. I, hey, man, I had folks that get so mad at me over preaching. Uh, then then I'd, be, I'd be standing there uh, in the foyer of the church, and they'd go out, boy, and they'd get way over here and just go right by me. And what'd you do? I let them go on by me the uh, best I could. Every once in a while, if they got close enough, I'd reach out and, and then. <laughs> what do you do? I just come back in and I preach to him. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. Huh? Amen. I had one old fella. He wanted to be a Pentecostal, you know. He wanted to be a Pentecostal. He tried out sitting down in Sunday school. Told him he was out of order. He come to the camper down there. I heard I heard he threatened to run his vehicle through the camper down there. And a few other things. Some of them made some threats out. What did you do? You just kept preaching. And so I told him he'd come down there and go jump on me. I said, now listen, brother. I said, I love you and I love your family. I really do. I love you. I love your family. But I said, I told y'all when I come up here and all of me and sat out there as an old time Baptist preacher without apology, I haven't changed and I'm not going to change. That sign says Missionary Baptist Church. I said, you're a Pentecostal and you will never be happy as long as I'm here pastor. But I want you to look at me in the eyeball. I am the pastor, not you. Amen. 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 Woo! Somebody's looking funny. I want to tell you right now, you don't have to be a smart ass. You don't have to say it in hand. But you can stand for the Word of God. Hallelujah. God will quit you like men and fill you with the Holy Ghost and help you to stand. That's a problem now. Amen. 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 Got a whole bunch of weak back. Amen. Yellow back. So call me that will not preach a whole council of God. That's right. Amen. Amen. You develop attitude toward gospel preaching, you better get right with God. You'll end up shipwrecked. He loves to see others saved. The man who's under new manners wants to see others get right with God. He'll rejoice to see the Lord's work in the heart of a sinner, a man for whom Christ died. Amen. Become a new creature. Something's radically wrong with a man who gets out in the community, talks negative about the church, and points out the faults of the pastor, discourages folks, pray for him, amen, from attending. I had one man, he was out in the cemetery of the church there on a Saturday. He told some people, he said, you don't need to come here. He said, we got a devil in the pulpit talking about me. And I want to tell you something, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God. And I don't say this, I don't say it braggingly, I, I say it, it, it it, it smote my heart. I, I loved it. I wish he got right with God. But Sunday, he hemorrhaged to death the following day. Now, I'm going to tell you something. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of believing God. That's right. Amen. Amen. You get to touch him. God, it's, it's a fearful thing. Amen. If you get right with God, amen, yes. you'll have a right attitude toward others. I'm going to try to close it down here just a little bit. Stay with me. A Christian is under new management. They become followers of Christ who loved us and gave himself for us. One of the great proofs that a man's under new management is the fact that he loves other believers. Jesus said by this, shall men know that ye are my disciples or followers because ye have loved one for another. The Bible says we know that we've passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. Yeah. Yes. Love is long-suffering. Amen. Meaning that it's patient and forbearing. Love is long suffering. That's been something that this preacher that you're looking at, that I've had to work on the flesh side. About being long suffering. You know, the Lord will grow you and get you to a point, and you want everybody else to be right there with you. Where y'all at? Some of them still right back yonder. Well, get up here! Don't work like that. Don't work like that. For me to get to where I am, 
I went through a lot of processes, experiences, and a lot of problems and troubles. Tribulation work of patience. Yes. Amen. Yes. You hear me? Somebody said, Lord, give me patience. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. Well, let's don't go there. I got enough trouble already without praying them down on me. Amen. Amen. Tribulation work of patience. Amen. Amen. We just need to learn to be patient. Amen. Amen. Learn to be patient. Love's long suffering. Have to suffer long with some people. Gentleness. Goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Ephesians 5 2 says, Walk in love as Christ also with love does, giving himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling Savior. Read the story of two preachers. They went to start a new church in a community and they went to talk to a man who owned some property that was available. They talked to the fellow and the man greeted them, was kind to them. And uh, said to the preachers, I'll be glad to give you two acres over there to build your church. And boy, it make me happy. I want to help you all out. The preachers, of course, they were excited. And the man said this. This is what he said, though. He said, I've got one, one condition. There's a certain man in the community whom I do not like. I just can't stand him. And I want a clause written in the deed that states if that man is ever allowed to enter the door of that church, the property will revert back to me. Hmm. Says so what the preachers do? They turn down his offer. Amen. 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 Hey man. Right. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you something. The house of God, the doors ought to be open to anybody. Yes. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 To come in and hear the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. Not to come in and roll around rod and run. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. But to come in and hear the gospel. That's right. Hey Amen. That's right. Given the opportunity. Hey, I wish, I wish, I used to do my fact every Sunday the, the house of God would be filled with prostitutes and liars and drug addicts and drunks. I wish they'd, I wish they'd fill up the pew so the church has to stand around the walls, couldn't even sit down. And preach to them. Amen. Yes. Amen. Sin gets saved by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. But they're not ready to sing in the choir. Right. Amen. They're not ready to take Sunday school. They're not ready to play the piano and the organ and, and whatever else. They need the gospel preached to them. Yes. Amen. Hey, hey, listen to me. There's no use trying to tell a woman that's a, a, a lost sinner that's thrown her life out in the world and how she needs to dress. You don't need to hear how she needs to dress. She needs to hear how to get born again. Yes. Right. Amen. And then when you get her saved, then you start declaring the counsel of God to her. And then if she really got saved, she'll be like a little bird with her Bible. You can just drop it in. Amen. That's right. Amen. You can feed her the Word of God. And she'll grow thereby. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Amen. Old drunk, he knows you ain't right. He knows you ain't right. He needs the gospel. He gets the gospel. You don't have to worry about looking at his car down at the nightclub. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 That's right. When you get saved, he'll transfer his major interest from this earth to heaven. The unsaved man lives for the world. All that life holds for him is right here on this earth. While the child of God, hey amen, lives in this world but it's not of this world. Our treasures are over yonder. It's in heaven. Yes, amen. Everything we do, we ought to do it in His name. Every service we render ought to be for His service. When in souls, every dollar we contribute will be treasures in heaven. I'm going to read this. Amen. Out of this life I shall never take things of silver and gold I make. All that I cherish and hoard away after I leave 
on earth must stay. Though I have told for a painting rare to hang on my wall, I must leave it there. Though I call it mine and boast its worth, I must give it up when I quit this earth. All that I gather and keep that I keep, I must leave behind when I fall asleep. And I often wonder what I shall own in the other life when I pass along. What shall they find and what shall they see in the soul that answers the call for me? Shall the great judge learn when my task is through that my spirit had gathered some riches too? Or shall at the last it be mine to find that all I had worked for, I had left behind. Mm -hmm. What means more to you? This world, your way, how you want to do it, or really knowing that you know you've been born again and want to do it God's way. And say, Lord, work in me and through me that the only you can work. That I might become a servant, a servant of yours. A servant of yours. And whatever you, my master, my master, want me to be, I'll just gladly bow and say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your servant, I'll be. How about it this morning? Where's your love at? Stand to your feet. Come and give us a song, Brother Chris. Stand to us. How about it? Are you under new management? Are you a new creature? Are you saved by God's good grace? How are you living? What's your life like? Amen. God wants to save O.C.